I'm our ancestors' dream. You know, they were raped, murdered, tortured, experimented on, and they built America. Their whole dream was to come back here, come back home. So I'm, I'm back, back here. So I'm the, I'm the American dream for real. So the quality of life, what is worth it? Uh, you want to sell your soul and for a house or for a car or whatever over there? And then you're a slave to your house. You're a slave to your car. So you don't really get to enjoy it because you got to go to work 12 hours a day to support that. Sitting in traffic, you're dealing, you're going to a job that you can't stand with people who don't like you because you're black. I'm treated less than as a human being. I'm a black man. As they say, I'm a nigger over there. Here, I'm just a man. That's huge. I've never been just a man. I've always been a black man. We have a bunch of toxicity in us that needs to, you have to get rid of. In order to get rid of it, you have to get out of the toxic place that you live in to come into a place where you're free. So I made it back. I'm proud of myself. I teach women's reproductive health, not me personally, my team, and I manufacture washable sanitary napkins and give them away for free. Look at this. I'm an African-American brother, a man, from Oakland, California, the Bay Area. You know, it's, it's hard there, you know. On the other side of the planet, making manufacturing sanitary napkins teaching women's health. I ain't been, I've never been to school for none of this, what I'm doing. So who do you think did that? That's God, 100% God, <laughs> you see? I'm just being obedient.